Ever wondered where the first book was shelved, where the first scroll was unrolled, where the first library was born? It's a question that takes us back in time, to when civilization was young and knowledge was a precious commodity. The concept of libraries is as old as written language itself. These were the treasure troves of ancient societies, housing not just books or scrolls, but the collective wisdom of ages. Each script, each parchment, each clay tablet represented a step in humanity's journey towards understanding the world around us. These repositories of knowledge were more than just collections of texts. They were symbols of power and prestige, platforms for cultural exchange and the heart of intellectual life. From the earliest clay tablets to the sprawling digital databases of today, libraries have been humanity's constant companions in the quest for knowledge. Today, we delve into the depths of history, to the world's oldest known library, the Library of Ashurbanipal. Envision the grand city of Nineveh in what is now modern-day Iraq in the 7th century BCE. This was the time of Ashurbanipal, the last great king of the Neo-Assyrian Empire, a man of wisdom and valor, Ashurbanipal was not only a formidable ruler, but also an ardent scholar. His insatiable thirst for knowledge led him to amass writings from every corner of his empire and beyond, from royal decrees and administrative documents to hymns, prayers, magic spells, and even the world's oldest known cookbook. Ashurbanipal's collection was as diverse as it was vast. His library was not a mere storehouse of texts. It was an attempt to capture and preserve the entirety of human knowledge of his time. Every tablet was carefully catalogued and meticulously stored, a testament to the king's dedication to learning and his foresight in understanding the importance of preserving knowledge for future generations. Thus, the library of Ashurbanipal, a vast repository of ancient knowledge, came into being. Imagine a collection of over 30,000 clay tablets, each one a treasure trove of ancient wisdom. These weren't your average books. They were meticulously inscribed with the cuneiform script, a writing system developed by the Sumerians and held a wealth of information on a range of subjects. From the sacred to the secular, from the mundane to the magical, these texts covered it all. They delved into religion, offering glimpses into the spiritual lives of the ancient Assyrians. They explored the realm of magic and medicine, providing an insight into the healing practices and supernatural beliefs of the time. The tablets also contained poetry that reflected the emotions and experiences of the people, and they even touched upon science, showcasing the intellectual curiosity of the Assyrians. Among these texts, the Epic of Gilgamesh, one of the oldest known pieces of literature, stands out as a shining example of ancient storytelling. These clay tablets were more than just collections of words, they were gateways to understanding the world of the ancient Assyrians. What became of this ancient monument of knowledge? You might wonder. The library of Ashurbanipal did not merely fade into obscurity following the fall of the Assyrian Empire. Instead, it lay dormant, its secrets buried under the sands of time until the 19th century. A British archaeologist named Austin Henry Layard unearthed this treasure trove, revealing an unparalleled glimpse into the ancient Near East. The library's clay tablets inscribed with cuneiform script continue to be a goldmine for scholars and historians. They provide an invaluable wealth of information, covering topics from literature and science to law and religion, painting a vivid picture of life in the ancient world. In the modern era, the library serves as a testament to the enduring value of knowledge and the human spirit's relentless pursuit of understanding. Despite the passage of millennia, the Library of Ashurbanipal continues to enlighten us, a testament to humanity's unquenchable thirst for knowledge, thousands of years after its creation. I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch 